in the secret compartment. Seems a little concerning. What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We're here to show you today a 2024 Jayco Eagle 26 REC for Rear Entertainment Center. There's a couple issues with the Rear Entertainment Center in this one. Start with the outside. Big storage compartment. A decent pass through. You see a grill here and then a metal table with a sink. There's a mount right here. We'll show you what that's for in a minute. USB, USB A, cable TV hookup, outlets, and a solar charge controller for 30 amps. I don't know how many are, panels are on the roof, but at least it's pre wired for solar, if anything else. Going around the back, or going around the, towards the back, Goodyear Endurance tires. It's, it's four point Lippert ground control, electronic leveling. The J port, this is for that grill that we saw in the pass through. So you slide it in there, lock it down, and then you have a table outside that you can put your grill and a sink. This little compartment right here is the outdoor shower. It also connects to the sink for the outdoor kitchen. Around the back, you have a trailer receiver hitch with a four pin plug. You'll notice no bumper, so there's no sewer hose connection here. Got your ladder. One slide out on this side. Virion on demand water heater, suburban propane furnace. The other side of the pass through, it's got a uh, smaller Nautilus system. Three holding tanks, so you're gonna have your kitchen, your bathroom, and then your black tank. Control panel for your leveling system is right here. Propane on each side, 30 uh, pound tanks. And I'm gonna show you this because this is gonna be a point of concern with this rig. Weight of cargo should never exceed 1,334 pounds. The full weight of water is 433 pounds. That means you have less than 900 pounds of cargo capacity that you can put in this. That's gonna be very, very limiting for what you can put in, in this while you're traveling. Front compartment, battery bay on the right. It does not appear to be generator prepped. The awning on this side, I forgot at the beginning, the awning on this side goes almost the whole length of the rig. There's an outlet way up here. I thought that was a weird place, but I started thinking about it. If you're gonna string lights on your awning, that's actually a decent place for it. Lippert solid steps, and let's get a look at the inside. All right, so here's the living room. This is my living room. You wanna show me cabinets? They're right here. Very deceiving right there, isn't it? It's very shallow. Then you have the TV right below it. And then another cabinet. Another cabinet right there. The one thing I was saying about the rear entertainment center, you have the TV here. Your sound bar is way over here to the side along with your electric fireplace. So if you're sitting, if you're sitting down watching TV straight ahead, all of the sounds are gonna be coming to the right or from the right, I should say. But then in the secret compartment. Yep, this one contains a secret compartment. Oh God. The reason those cabinets are so shallow is you have a spooky hinged door that gives you a gigantic storage area or pantry. But you can't fill it up because you only have. Yep, you can't fill it up. You gotta be careful. You only got uh, about 900 pounds with a cargo capacity. Feel like we're in a haunted house movie. <laughs> so more storage up above here. Black, full blackout shades. Theater seating that are, they, they should be reclining. They are not electric or anything. You have a dinette with two standalone chairs. 
And one storage in the bench. Yep, one storage in the bench. You can move that as well. It's not bolted down. The table seems a little concerning. What's going on here? This comes out. <laughs> oh. There you go. Ah. Well, look. So you have a little bit of storage under the table, and then this slides out. Go ahead and bring that down, and we'll close that so that you can extend the table out. Would you bring that up for me again? One point of concern here. So the way this table is, the legs <laughs> don't put too much weight on here because that's the only thing holding it. I see a lot of those being broken in the future. Even with this closed, you have a little bit of storage for some card games, board game, or whatever. All right, and then the kitchen. You got a two basin sink. Two basin stainless steel on the counter sink. The cabinet right here. Cabinet up above. Got probably a 900 microwatt, 900 watt? Right, 900. Is it bigger than a bread box? 900 watt GE microwave. Three burner GE stove with oven. And this is different. Usually you see cabinets under the sink. This one actually has drawers. Which is odd because where are you gonna put all your cleaning supplies? Unless you put them in there. Yeah, cleaning bottles, they'd have to go into the pantry behind the TV. That just seems sound, seems weird to say. Got a GE, uh, looks like 12 volt fridge. One little drawer underneath. All right. Heading up towards the bathroom, you're gonna see a huge mirror, no coat hooks or anything, that's kind of odd. You do have one cabinet over here. So if you want your cleaning supplies and stuff, that might be a good spot for it. Not tall enough. Control center here, you got your lights and your thermostat. That's your bathroom. They all have bathrooms. There's bathrooms. Decent uh, walk-in shower there. Toilets over here. Huge cabinet, but this actually doubles into the bedroom. You see the door over here. <laughs> Medicine cabinet. Kind of like the wood countertop in here. Seems like a plastic sink. Not as not as cheesy as some of the really cheap trailers. A little bit more storage there, and then some storage underneath the sink. Onto the bedroom. Bedroom. Got cabinets on both sides. Drawers on both sides. Not a whole lot of space. No. Let's see what's below there. Not bad. Same thing on the other side. Got 110 outlets. I'm not seeing any USB outlets anywhere. So you'd have to run an inverter or something to get USB power to charge your phone overnight if you're not plugged in. Pretty decent storage underneath. The bed. Got a TV mounting bracket with your connections up above. Below that are some coat hooks. And then you have a couple drawers and here's the bedroom view of that same cabinet that goes into the bathroom. So that's the 2024 Jayco Eagle 26 SEC. REC. REC. 26 REC, Rear Entertainment Center. What do you think? Is it good, bad? Do you like that sound bar? Leave us a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.